हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट आर बैक सो वॉट इज आर बैक फर्स्ट थिंग आर द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आर बैक इज रोल बेस्ड एक्सेस कंट्रोल सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट दैट वी गिव एक्सेस टू द यूजर बेस्ड ऑन इट्स रोल सो इफ वी हैव सर्टन रोल्स लेट्स एज्यूम दैट वी हैव सम रोल्स लेट मी जस्ट शो यू सो लेट्स एज्यूम दैट वी हैव रोल्स लाइक मैनेजर user developer and ui ux develop designer okay so uh, what will happen manager will have access to some functionality all functionalities of the application user will have access to some and developer will have access to some and ui ux designer will have access to some Now what will happen? Ki manager will have access to all the all functionalities, right? Now developer might have some certain functionality access, right? But the functionalities accessed by the developer won't be able to, UI UX designer won't be able to access those functionalities, right? So uh, let us not. Uh, that is the basic idea of role based access control. Now how do we implement that? Let's check that. Just a second. Let me just clear this. okay so what we do here what we are doing here so what we are doing here is uh, this is our application let's assume that user has been registered in our application now he just needs to log in and after log in what happens let's see so here is the start we identify the user here user gets identified means uh, if you are aware of the jwt tokens you might be aware of how sessions are created how and how we maintain uh, what what is the current user for this session in our browser cache right in our uh, local storage actually so we just identify the user we also have a middleware which checks uh, if what uh, what permission does this user have okay so after we identify the user we authenticate the user if user is valid or not from the db now we will check if uh, the user which is trying to access has the manager role uh, if he has the manager role developer developer role or ui ux designer role or he is just a normal user so based on that role we will have access resource okay based on that role we will for each resource or each api that we that the user is trying to access let's assume that there is an application let's assume that this is our application right let's assume this is our application this is the side panel of our application and this is feature 1 this is feature 2 user clicks on feature 2 and this feature should have rendered a list okay so for rendering that list there is a prerequisite that this user which is trying to access this should have the permission to access this right so let's assume there are three type of permissions that our application has which is read read create update and delete so uh, this f2 func functionality or this list can be accessed by the user if has if he has the read permission so this access control or this determine role this role will this role will contain an object which will have the permissions like read so let's assume the user which is trying to access this resource which is f2 functionality i uh, have the read permission so it will grant access to this user and it will allow it will render this list basically and it will allow the api response from that api right and if user does not have the permission so what that api will do it uh, first thing is it won't show this f2 feature if it's a authenticated application right uh, and even if it's shown the api will return that access is denied okay access is denied access so that was how our uh, rbac works now let us see uh, in the file based system or how we created the js javascript files okay so now let's check how we maintain our files for this rbac or role based access control we will just, uh, so we will go through the low level system design of this rbac okay yes 
so i am just assuming that we have a small application so we have this roles.js roles.json file okay so what this roles.json file will contain is let me just write that okay so our uh, roles.json file will contain multiple type of so it will contain this object which will contain role name and the permissions that this role have access to like read update create and delete so this file will contain multiple role name and the permissions associated with the, those role name uh, so there will be multiple role names such as developer ui ux designer or a particular user right now we have this roles.js file so we have created this role.js file which will return role from json file so it will just fetch or read this json file and return the role based on the role that is requested from that function as a parameter right now what is permission.js file so permission.js file will also try to read this file and uh, we'll check the permission for a certain role like if we want permissions for the manager role so uh, what this roles.json file will do uh, what this permission.js file will do it will uh, return this object which is read update create and delete permissions right now let's see how do we register the user so if you are familiar with mongodb uh, and mongoose so we have this uh, we need to create a user schema for registering the user so user.js file contains that user schema so when our user get registers right from auth controller we authenticate the user um, what we will do our user hits the api with the details like let's assume that we have the uh, user name password email and uh, role name okay so we need role name right to assign the permissions to the user so once we have the role name your user will get registered based on role name from object in api so this api or this request will contain the role name email and password and username as an object so based on this role name we will assign the permission to this user from okay so after after this we will register that in our db okay so that was about uh, registering the user now what will happen so our user is registered right now comes the fun part which is once the user is registered he has access to our application right so this is our application these are this is a side menu let's assume that there are certain so let's assume there are certain menu items like feature one feature two feature three f4 and so on right uh, so let's assume that this is the manager role as we have created the account with that okay so he has the read write create update all permissions so uh, whenever our manager or our user hits this clicks on this f2 feature it will hit an api right that api will be passed to this server so before what that api has to return it will pass through our rbac middleware.js file okay so what this rbag middleware.js file is so a uh, middleware is basically whenever our api hits the server every request that is uh, that needs to be uh, passed to the business logic goes to the middleware uh, so that the user is authenticated or not so if you are familiar with jwt which is json web token in that also we use uh, middleware to uh, determine that the session that is user currently in is valid or not if it is valid then only we call next function which is used for authenticating user and then passing the next so that he can uh, he is able to access other resources of the application right so in our back middleware what we do first we will check first we will us check the role of the user if it's manager we will use permission.js to assign the permission to this user or this manager role and that manager role permissions will be access to all will be accessible to all the routes okay so let's assume that f2 there is f2.js file and this file will first check the middleware object that the 
a request has so it will check for request dot data dot permissions and if this permission is okay or if it includes right let's assume that it includes read permission or not okay so only if it includes the read permission only then f2 will get rendered okay so this list will get rendered so which means our api will uh, pass response which will be rendered here okay only then otherwise it will give a response that access is denied or you do not have access to this particular resource okay or please contact the administrator whatever you will like right so every route every router will pass through rbac middleware.js file and only then if that user has the read or write or whatever permission that is you needed for that feature only then that user will be authenticated and the response will get passed or returned from the api right yeah so that was about the role based access control now i don't think there is anything that's remaining yeah that's it